welcome to my channel. My name is Aria, and today I'm going to do a highly requested video, which is a nursery tour. Uh, you guys have been asking me for a house tour, but a lot of you know that I live in a new build, so um, <clears throat> and it's a five bedroom house, so it's a lot um, to furnish, and um, it's not done yet. So as soon as my house is done, I will be more than happy to do a house tour, but you guys also really wanted a nursery tour, um, so I'm gonna do that for you today. Uh, I'm definitely not a camera man, camera woman, and um, so this isn't gonna be fancy. This is literally going to be me shooting <laughs> and showing you stuff. So uh, yeah, if you were expecting some like MTV Cribs type shit, I'm not. I'm not her. Can't be her. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and um, I will get back to you when we're done. Let's go. Right, guys here's the door to the nursery conveniently located next to the bathroom and let's go inside all right so first thing when you come in you're going to see this calendar I am having puppies on April 6th which is Monday so I will be filling that out later um, I have a IV bag set up this is just for subcutaneous fluids um, yeah so just in case they're needed um, what else so let's see here the first pen that's set up right now actually it has five week old puppies in it, Kyla's puppies. And um, they're obviously not in here right now because they would cry, but I'll show you guys them soon <laughs> before this video is over. So this right here is the puppy health record. It says date of birth, um, things like weights, deworming, vaccines, that kind of stuff. So I keep that above the whelping box so I can look at it and have access to it if I need it. And all of the artwork that you guys see in here, well, all of that, 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 those, and that all came from um, Hobby Lobby. And then that arch and that wreath came from Kirkland's. So yeah, the calendar that you guys saw earlier came from Kirkland's too. The little teepee for the wolf cubs, they always get this dirty. I literally have to wash this all the time. This whooping box is set up for Malia. Like I said, um, Monday she will be having her puppies. So um, I use an electric blanket and then a heating pad as well. This is the setup that I use for transportation for the puppies. Um, so yeah, that's whooping box number one. And number two, I don't usually have two sets of moms with puppies. Um, usually it's, they have one whooping box and then they transfer over to this one when they're older. You guys just wanna all be in my video, huh? <laughs> this rug I got from American Furniture Warehouse. Um, and then the steps, I get them. I have a lot of them and I get them from like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and stuff. So let's go to the medicine cabinet. In here for the first like week when we have puppies. So this is just a coaster, some chapstick. <laughs> I usually have my laptop in here so I can watch some stuff, my chargers and everything. Um, this is my air purifier from Lavoite. I really like this. Um, it's got timer, it has sleep mode, um, different fan speeds, night mode. It's amazing. I highly recommend getting a air purifier, even if you don't have puppies, but this is amazing. Um, I got some little decorations at some Kirkland's. That's from Target, a little nightlight. This is my diffuser. Um, I diffuse the eucalyptus oil in the nursery. Um, it really helps with brachycephalic dogs. It helps with respiratory. And I did do a whole video on um, the essential oils that are good and bad for your dog. So go ahead and check that out. Um, I'll link it at the end of this video. Um, and my camera. This is my LaFun camera. It only points into this whooping box. I can't see into that one, but I can see the whole rest of the room. Oh, Bauer, did you decide you needed to pee? Thank you so much. Moving along, um, the bottom row, I just have a scale. I've got some distilled water for the diffuser and I keep extra potty pads down here. Um, in this cabinet, I've got different types. I've got dewormer, different types of needles and syringes that I might need. Um, this is kind of some stuff for, for the mama dog. So I have a, like a milk flow supplement, Tums, some ear cleaner. Um, you know, they have antibiotics and stuff after they have their C-section, some Caro syrup. So this is just kind of stuff that you would need possibly um, for the babies and the mama dogs. And this is from Kirkland's. <laughs> right, so here's where I keep all of the puppy toys. Um, I wash them and then I just keep them in this cute little bin. I've had this thing forever. I don't know where it's from. Um, my bed I got online, I think walmart.com. 
the pillows are from random places um i don't i couldn't even tell you and then that throw i also got a long time ago so i'm not sure where i got it um but yeah so this is where i stay um like i said for probably like the first week kind of depends on the litter and what i have going on so yeah that's my bed and look at my sheets so cute <laughs> Okay, so moving along, we have this bad boy. This has pretty much all of the nursery essentials in it. Um, I know you guys are want, want me to go <laughs> one by one, so I'll do that. Um, I got this little sign from Kirkland's, that from online, I think Amazon, and it lights up. I, I wanna really get um, those little cloud lights and the skylights that like make it look like a night sky in here. I think that'd be so cute. So I think I'm gonna order that on Amazon today. Um, I just have a basket with some cleaning supplies. Um, yeah, they're uh, pretty much empty, but you know, coronavirus. Uh, pet wipes, these are my favorite ones. These are also the ones I give away in my puppy packs. So now we will move on to the bins. All right, so I keep trash bags, grocery bags in here. Um, in here there's heating pads and cords and heating blankets, electric blankets, all the extras if I need any. Um, and this one is just my label maker, my markers for um, the calendar and then like some warranty stuff for some of the things that are in here. This guy's got bowl stands in it. It usually does have bowls and stuff, but I'm using them all right now and a random e-collar, so that's cool. Um, this is my bottles and formula bin. So um, I've got cotton balls for some reason, some supplements. Um, yeah, uh, this is high calorie paste. I've got stuff for tube feeding. If I need a tube feed, bottles, extra bottles. I don't ever really use these. Um, these suck. <laughs> these are amazing. Miracle nipples. These are the best. Like usually newborn puppies take to these really quick and then I move them on to these eat and flow bottles. Moving along to this one. This is um has extra like diffuser and some extra oils. I do have lavender, peppermint, and this is like a spray with uh that is eucalyptus. So that's what's in here. Um this bin's got whelping supplies so this is in case this bin is literally an emergency bin so this has everything i need in case if i would have to do a um oh some more tube feeding stuff that should be here in case if i have to do a free whelp um so i've got suture removers i have hemostats um i think these are bandage scissors yep um my cesscope should probably not be in here <laughs> Uh, yeah, ace bandages, oxytocin, um, we love a good aspirator, but yeah, thermometers, gauze, all that fun stuff. Do you guys really care to see what's in there? Okay. Okay. Last one is, uh, AI supplies, so AI stands for artificial insemination. I have some extender, some tubes, some pipettes. Um, some rings, I don't ever use those. Alcohol bottles, collection bags. Uh, yeah. And this tub is full of 12cc syringes. So yeah, that's what's in there. And we will move on to the closet. All right, guys, here's the closet. Um, these are extra blankets. And these are for like the nursery for my use. And then these are blankets that go in puppy packs. Um, up here I have some more syringes. These polar bears are great. They're actually from Ikea. And they're really good when you have like singletons, like to keep puppies company. Sometimes I'll do it when I have two puppies as well. Folders for um, puppy packs. This is literally like the closet for puppy pack stuff. Potty pads, the letters for the marquee board that you guys saw earlier. Some more like crates and like pens and stuff I store in here. Nebulizer, um, I've got some more steps. I keep all the bags for my puppy packs in here. Um, I keep extra beds. And then of course, this is like my little puppy pack station. Um, so I've got business cards, new vet, accessories. You guys don't need to see in there, boring. Extra potty pads, treat containers, which I need to re-up on all this stuff, but like the stores are closed. So we can't do that, can we Bao? No. Um, so these are probably gonna be pretty much empty, you guys, because yeah, look, I keep my toys in there, but I haven't been able to go and get any of them um treats i've got some extra treats these are great i love these these are what i give salmon flavor um we got poop bags in here these are super cute i love finding ones with like funny sayings like this says 
this too shall pass um and this says shit happens so i like finding like cute stuff like that to put in my puppy packs so when my puppies go home gifts um sometimes like if i have a litter during christmas or during a holiday i'll get a special gift like mug or a pack or whatever for the new owner too and then these are wipes like i said my favorite wipes so yeah that's the closet you guys and i know that you guys want me to do a whole video on what i put in the puppy packs but i pretty much kind of showed you that so yeah and that's the closet so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the tour i'll give you one last look around and now you can hear the new babies because i put them back in uh but yeah so there they are say hi guys <laughs> okay i hope you guys enjoyed it i know you guys have been asking me and this video is going to be short but uh yeah thank you for watching the dogs are fighting not fighting but wrestling can you guys not when i'm hey, hey i'm doing a video hello hi hi guys bauer no okay so i hope you guys enjoyed that video it was kind of a nursery central video too because like i went through all the bins and showed you all the stuff that i use and have um uh if you have any questions feel free to leave them below uh yeah other than that thank you so much i'm glad i finally got to do this for you huh bobby did you like that was it great? You were along for the ride, too. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, and um, I'll link the videos that I had mentioned previously in my video, um, in my tour, down below. And yeah, uh, this whole quarantine is really driving me nuts, and um, so I'm going to try to go through uh, my comments to see what you guys want to see. A lot of the videos you guys request, I've already made, um, either on TikTok or here on YouTube. Uh, so yeah. Be sure to go through my whole channel and watch my videos. So um, I know I don't have that, that many, so it's not going to take up that much time either. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, we're going to head out. Uh, you know, we got a lot of sitting around to do because we're doing, you know, social distancing and shit. So, right, Belle? The dogs love it because my ass is at home all the time. So, yeah. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye. <laughs>